this cotton yarn last summer yes last summer and I have been wanting to weave this into towels <laughs> so um, this is cotton that I harvested from plants I uh, processed the fiber I um, carded it on my hand carters. I rolled it into little Rolex or punis. I s and I spun this yarn. And like I said, I really want to weave this into towels. So uh, I have wove towels once before. <coughs> yes. Oh no, this is not my only weaving project I've ever done, but uh, I have woven towels and they are well loved in my kitchen. <laughs> um, in fact, folded up here, it looks its nicest. Um, but this towel has seen, uh, has seen some love. So I do want to point out that this fraying at the top here is not because of the binding on the edge here it's because um i was using clips to clip these up in the kitchen and the teeth on the clips tore away the towels so we stopped doing that <laughs> um but other than that um these towels have really held up quite well and this is uh cotton that i bought at the store so at Walmart, basically, and uh, I love it. It is cotton, so they shrink uh, in the wash. So these are not their original size anymore, uh, but I just love these towels. And so I just thought, what, what a nice way um, to use this yarn, uh, but to weave more towels. Now, unfortunately, I only have... 322 yards here between these two balls, which is not really enough to weave some towels. So what I plan to do is incorporate some store-bought cotton to go with it. So these are from Hobby, and I bought a set of shades of blue and soft greens. And of course, white was included in the set. Um, but what I'd like to do is use these three shades of blue. So we have, do these colors have names? I don't think so. Um, but this is 8-4 cotton, if that means anything to you. Uh, and like I said, I bought it in a pack. So this says color number 32. The middle shade is color 29. And the darkest shade is color 30. So there's no rhyme or reason to these numbers. <laughs> but I just think that these will look very nice. So I found a pattern online that I'm going to be loosely following. Uh, and I'll show you that pattern here on the screen. Uh, this pattern incorporates multiple shades of um, reds and oranges. And so I'm using shades of blue. And so yeah, I'm I'm somewhat adapting it because I am gonna change 
the sizes a little bit. Um, the pattern calls for you to warp your loom 15 inches wide, and I think I'm going to go with 14. Um, I measured this towel, and I used an 8 dent reed, and this is very much still um, 8 strands per inch, and I like the width on this thing. So it seems like it didn't really shrink in this direction, it shrank in this direction. <laughs> So I am going to weave longer. I think I wove these to be 24 inches long, two feet long, and they are now 18 inches long, which means they've shrank six inches or so, which is quite a bit. Anyway, they've, they've shrank a little bit. They're losing some of their color, but they function st still great as towels in the kitchen and I just want more um, and possibly to give as gifts because I feel like handmade towels are really special. So what I would like to do is warp up the loom to make two towels. I think I can reasonably ask my hand spun to stretch over two towels where I weave one of them to be primarily light color and another one primarily the shades of blue. So hopefully I get what I want. <laughs> so I'm going to warp my loom to be, my plan is for the two towels to be 27 inches long each and then an extra two feet or so of waist warp. So you can never weave from the very beginning to the very end. There is always a bit of waste on each end. And so I'm going to account for that for planning on two feet of waist, which is probably excessive. Uh, so the plan is to warp this roughly uh, if I do the math, it's 78 inches long, but I'm going to shoot for 75 inches long. So that's what I need to do first. The thing with weaving is that, you know, the setup is the biggest part of the project, is figuring out your length, figuring out which... Um, I'm, I have a rigid heddle loom, so which pedal to use um, and just in this case since I am limited on how much hand spun I have I need to be mindful of measurements and how much yardage if this was a project um, where I could just easily go to the store and buy more then it wouldn't require as much attention to detail but I'm going to have to pay attention. So setting up the loom is going to take some time, but once the loom gets set up, it's pretty much um, just back and forth weaving and pretty uh, fast going. So this is the part of the project that takes me the most time.
So the loom is now all warped and ready to go. Although I did have to make some changes to the plans for warping. Uh, I did make the length uh, about 70 inches, which is what I was going for. And of course I feel like that's never exact when <laughs> warping a loom. So it's around 70 inches long. Um, I was supposed to have 70 strands of natural and then the pattern and then 30 strands of natural. I did the 70 and the pattern and then I did four more in natural and that used up one ball of my cotton hand spun. So instead of being uh, 138 strands wide or 138 ends, uh, it's only what minus 26 from that gives us 112. Yeah, 112 strands wide instead of 138. So instead of being roughly 14 inches wide, it's only going to be roughly 11 inches wide. Uh, so a three inch difference on the width of the towels, which is fine. I'll live with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I need to double check. Obviously, my calculations are off somewhere, whether it's the yardage in my skeins of yarn or calculating how many strands per inch. I don't know. I'm definitely off somewhere because I should have had enough to do this. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's warped and ready to go. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to do some weaving.
So I'm at a pausing point here because I've reached five inches here. Oops, weaving in the natural color back and forth. And so I'm to the point in the pattern where I need to do this same color sequence across this way. So basically you do five inches of plain white, work the color sequence, um, do, I, I think it said nine more inches of white, do the color sequence in the opposite order, and then, and then finish off with five more inches. So, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm roughly there. I mean, my edges here are wavy, but that's fine. And so, yeah, I'm going to do some colors now.
So I've been weaving through the uh, the white towel and I've gotten the um, the white weft section to the um, nine inch mark. So measuring from the last of the blue stripes here to where I left off is at the nine inch mark. Let me just double check that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit challenging to measure um, because the this is rolling on here all crooked. The, the fact that the warp isn't centered is part of that. And so <laughs> I have no idea how these towels, towels are going to look when they come off of the loom because I have a feeling they are going to look crooked, like crooked stripes, maybe even the corners won't be right corners, maybe they'll be like, you know, I, I have no idea, uh, but I feel like <laughs> there's no going back at this point, so I'm just going to move forward, but <laughs> they're towels, it's fine, um, I'm using up my hand spun, I'm really happy about that. Um, I don't feel like I'm wasting it, which is something in my mind I have to tell myself is that I, I can't allow myself to think that I have to use something in the most perfect way. Like I made this cotton yarn and I'm using it to make towels. And even if these towels aren't quote perfect, I will use them and I will appreciate them and it's totally fine. And once I, you know, talk myself through that, I can move forward with my creative process. And sometimes that's how you get to the other side of of the, an obstacle, something you think is an obstacle, or physically is an obstacle. Um, and you get to the other side and find out, you know, you, you made something you, you never would have been able to or discovered something new. But anyway, all of that to say, I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm trudging forward, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to be weaving the blue stripes in the reverse order. So it went four, nope, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five light blue, three medium, and two dark. And so now I'm gonna do that same pattern, but the opposite, so it'll be two dark, three medium blue, and then five light blue. And then I will um, do the same amount of white on the other side. I can't remember the number. I'll have to look it up in the pattern. Again, that pattern is linked down below in the description box if you want to um, use it for yourself or just follow along with what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the, the colors and then the solid white section. And then this first towel will be done which is really exciting. finish the five inches of the white on the end and so I'm going to start the second towel uh, so that's what the rest of the warp is for is for the second towel so 
<clears throat> I am not doing a hem stitch. Uh, when I started this towel, I did not begin with a hem stitch. I began with some waist yarn just going back and forth a few times and then I just started weaving the towel and I did not do a hem stitch. Same thing on this side. Uh, I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times with some scrap yarn and go right into the next towel. Uh, what I'm going to try to do instead of a hem stitch, I have done it before, but I'm just going to, um, when I cut this off the loom, fold it over and sew it on my sewing machine. So, no hem stitch now. I will use my sewing machine later <laughs> we'll, and I'll get to test out that and see how it holds up to wear and tear and all that good stuff. So I have my waist yarn in here. It's just some acrylic worsted weight yarn for my stash and uh, the there's three total patterns in the pattern I downloaded, so three different um, towels, and I'm only doing two of them. Uh, so I'm doing the one with the stripes here, which they call the hardest one, and the other one I'm doing has the, um, the colors in it. So it calls for 13 inches in one shade, 8 inches in the middle shade, and then 6 inches in the last shade. Now in the pattern, um, so I've kind of reversed the roles, um, between the light and the dark shades. So in the pattern, they use more of the dark colors and less of the light colors, and I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have 13 inches in the light blue, then 8 inches in the medium blue, and 6 inches in the dark blue. And so... That's what I'm going to do. There's no striping in this other towel. Uh, it's just going to be pretty simple go, go, go. Uh, the only difficulty I could see myself having is making sure I keep track of that 13 inches because I only have so much working space here and then I'll have to, you know, move the towel down and wind it on. So I'll probably have to put in some stitch markers on the side of the towel to keep track of how many inches. Uh, but other than that, I don't foresee any issues. So wish me luck. So I finished the 13 inches of the light blue and I did something you're not supposed to do with weaving <laughs> and that's um, leave this all out instead of winding it up. And so I was I only have this much space up here to weave in. It gets more and more challenging the closer you get. And that's kind of a, you know, not a, a thing that is advised to be doing, but whatever, I did it. And so, um, so this is measuring out to 13 inches. And so I'm going to switch to the medium blue and do that for eight inches. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to roll this up and then um, weave with the medium blue. And so it should be kind of interesting to see with the stripes um, how this changes. So let me change the camera angle so I can show you what I'm talking about. So um, in the warp here, there are five stripes of the light blue three stripes of the medium and two stripes of the dark and you can see these sections where it's light blue on light blue and it kind of it's subtle to see those stripes in here um, and for the most part you just see these stripes and so it'll be interesting to see that shift as I change to the medium blue and so you know will these stripes the light and the dark really pop out or will they not pop out because it's more of the medium color? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see how that works out, so we'll see. So I've woven a few inches here, and uh, it's neat to see that shift in the color match. 
uh, and the dark stripes here are still popping out. Um, but interesting that the, how the light against the medium looks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it looks really neat. Um, obviously my edge work is not super even. I keep getting it too tight and then too loose to try to compensate. And then, <laughs> so I have wobbly edges, but, um, I'm really liking how this is turning out. Time to cut the towels off the loom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Okay, so these towels are similar lengths, but not exactly the same. But here's the one where you do the blue in the three different shades across and then fold it on the other side. Is the white with the stripes. They're definitely long and narrow towels, so they're a funky shape, but that's my fault for how I warped it. But, um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, sew up the hems on the sewing machine here and then weave in the ends and then give the towels a good washing. So yeah.
All right, so this is the waste yarn in the middle in between the two towels. So I'm just going to cut down the middle here, kind of. Okay, I think having that waist yarn really helps hold that last thread in, so I'm going to keep that in mind for next time. I could have done that on the end of the towel. Okay, so, oops, let's fold this over as well. So I did just a straight stitch, and then over here I did a zigzag. So I think I'm going to do the same thing on this side and um, be able to test out the zigzag. Because I think maybe on this one I won't do the zigzag. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I decide in 10 minutes when I get to that towel. <laughs> okay, let's do the zigzag. So this is the start of the towel. here so I'm just getting it closer to the edge and then I'll remove the the waste yarn And then I'll fold this over and just tuck this end in along that edge. That's pretty good. The ends are all hemmed up on both towels here. 
And so now what I'm going to do is weave in these ends hanging off the, the edges. So I'm just going to weave these in, cut off the ends, and then I will be throwing these in the washing machine. Oh my gosh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> So basically something like that. So just going over and under and over and under, right, for a little bit here, like an inch. And then I'll cut these ends. And then it just looks like that, kind of disappears into the towel. So, I'm just going to do that for all the various ends. It's the next day. The towels are out of the washer and the dryer. That's right, they went through the washer and the dryer. And they are still 100% intact. Um, if you've ever thrown a project into the washing machine and been afraid that it would come apart, yeah, that's how I felt last night. Uh, but success, they look amazing. So, um, yeah, I have towel number one with a glaring mistake right in the middle of um, a weft thread that didn't quite go underneath threads it was supposed to, but that's okay. It gives it some unique character. And then this one, which I re I'm really digging this dark part here against the white and just how like speckly it looks. Um, I think it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, the towels are finished. I'm super happy with them. Um, because this yarn is thinner than the yarn I used to weave my previous set of towels, uh, the fabric here is thinner, which I really like. These towels are not as heavy. Um, they're more drapey than the previous ones, and I just really like that feeling. So we'll see how they do with drying dishes um, and, and things like that um, out in my kitchen to see if I prefer the thicker towels or the thinner towels for different purposes or whether they kind of function the same way. I'll get to test those things out. Um, on my previous towels, I did do a hand woven hem stitch and on these, as you saw, I put them underneath the sewing machine. So this is also a bit of an experiment as I wanna test out um, kind of which ones hold up longer, better, what's the wear and tear like kind of situation. So I will suss that out. But what I'd like to do is flip the camera around and take some measurements of these towels to see what I ended up with. So I did make modifications to the pattern, right? I, I warped the loom thinner than the pattern called for and thinner than I really wanted to. 
so um, that is not following the pattern um, I also made a change on this towel it was supposed to be 13 inches 8 and 6 but I really wanted to mimic the stripes is that you have five blue and then really five here so three and two makes five so I thought instead of doing eight and six which adds up to 14 why not do eight and five so it adds up to 13 right so it would mimic that symmetry that the medium plus the dark would equal the same as the light so I did weave that um, one inch shorter than the pattern called for there which I think worked out fine I mean if you look at these two towels they are the same length pretty much that bluer one being maybe just a little bit longer so the fact that I took an inch off is okay um, now I didn't measure my hems at all when folding them over so who knows um, how much was really kind of lost there but I'm super happy with this so let's see, how wide are these towels? White one here is uh, eight and three quarter inches. Eight and three quarters. This one is almost nine. A little less than nine. Here it's a little less than nine. Yeah, so almost nine inches wide, and then the length after hemming, this one is 19 and a half, and this one is 20 and a quarter, 20 and a half. You can't see that because my arm's in the way. Yeah, so 19 and a half there. Um, over there it's 19 and 3 quarters, over here it's 20 and 1 quarter, 20 and a half, so you can see that I am in no way an expert weaver, um, I have wavy edges, my hems apparently aren't straight, <laughs> um, and things like that. But you know what? They are unique, handmade towels. I'm really happy with them. And I do want to preface, maybe not preface, I want to end here. Um, in the beginning, I was really upset about making a calculation error. But I still have a lot of hand spun yarn left. So I could have warped these towels wider. And it probably would have used this up and would have been perfectly fine and what I wanted the project to do. But you know what? You live and you learn. And I have some hand spun yarn that I can use in the next batch of towels. In the end, I'm very delighted with the outcome of this project. I'm glad I got to use my loom. I'm glad I used my hand spun cotton yarn. I'm glad I used commercial cotton yarn for my stash because I do have quite a bit of that. So in the end, I'm happy to be using my supplies to create useful items. I'm excited to try out these towels in my kitchen and see how they hold up. Um, and I hope that you really enjoyed my documentation of that journey through video here on the channel. Um, if you like seeing content like this on the channel, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I really appreciate that folks are seeing this channel and that we have a lot of new subscribers to the channel and folks leaving comments about uh, what they like to see and suggestions. I know I'm not an expert and so I still have questions and things that I want to learn. So if you have any suggestions or advice, uh, feel free to share in the comments down below. I know it helps me and it can help others who are uh, here on the channel as well. So until next time, folks, I hope that you stay safe, stay well, and you enjoy your crafts, whatever they may be. Bye.